Okay, students. So in this lesson, we're going to be uh, going ahead and creating our Sync the Wonders image. So I'd like you to pick either a modern um, or an ancient wonder of the world, and let's go ahead and sync it. So we'll go and use the images we downloaded earlier. So I'm going to go ahead and click Add Image. We'll use that from the folder I created on my desktop. Digital Technologies Image Editing, and it's important that they're all in the same folder so I can find them. I'm going to set the deep sea as my background image, and I'll go ahead and use all squares here to stretch that one out, then click on Enter. Then I'll add the Colosseum, so we'll click the Add button, go to Image, and then we'll go to Colosseum, click on Open, and then we'll stretch that out so that it is about in the center there. Okay, click on Enter now. Right, we'll go ahead and cut it out. So we'll go and click on the cutout section. Now I'm going to use the lasso tool and I'm going to keep whatever it is that I cut out, not remove. And I'll show you why in a moment. So I'll go ahead and just draw a quick, quick little selection around my Colosseum. Now, if you had the pen, you could spend a lot more time doing this and cleaning it up. But for the moment, we'll just go ahead and do that. Now um, you can go ahead and then click Erase um, and draw that cutout and you can go and um, make that much more detailed and cut out the windows a little bit later. But for the purpose of this tutorial, we'll just go ahead and uh, just use that cutout button there. Okay. All right. Now, oh, I've clicked Keep rather than Remove. So that's a good example to show you um, how, that, how that works. Okay. So I'll just go ahead and if you've got your mouse um, or your pen, you can go ahead and spend a bit more time trying to cut things out. But uh, um, for the purpose of this tutorial, we don't need to go ahead and do that. So I'll just go like that, okay? You can go and clean that up a little bit. Okay, uh, so let's just say that we've cleaned this whole thing up and you've done a good job. Uh, we'll go now and create another layer. So I'll go here, let's add a new layer, go to image, and I'll go and use the underwater stock. Um, so I'm going to get the sand out of this one. So I want the sand to go um, in front of the Colosseum. So I'm going to go ahead like this, click on Enter, and I'm going to change the layer properties. So I'm going to click on these little dots and just change the transparency just so it's a little bit see-through and I can see um, where the sand is. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and just close that one. Again, I'm going to use the cutout tool. Um, I'll go and use the lasso cutout and I'm going to go and remove pretty much this entire bit at the top just so that we've got the sand down the bottom. So we'll go ahead like that, like that. Okay. Cut that one out. Um, and then we'll go and add another layer. Let's go ahead and maybe use the shark layer. Let's go do that. Grab that shark out. There we go. Okay, and this time I'm going to again use the cutout. Um, this time I might go ahead and use the magic cutout and whatever it is that I select is going to remove. So you can change the tolerance here. So the uh, less tolerant it is, like the uh, more sensitive it is to the same colored pixels. Okay, um, and you can see how magic it is because I'm just clicking on these areas and it's cutting it out. And then I'll go back with the, um, the draw cut out there and I'll go and just clean that up and I'll make that size of that brush just a bit bigger there and then we'll get rid of that. Okay. So I'll get rid of that there. Lovely. Okay. So once you've cleaned up your, your layers, you can move those layers around uh, by using this tool over here, the arrange tool. And I'm going to make that shark just a little bit smaller. Okay. Again, I can clean that up. I'll just pop that over there. Okay. And I'll click on enter just to save that selection. There we go. And then we can keep going and building layers and cleaning that up. We can change layer order here. So just in case I wanted the sand to be behind the Colosseum, I can do that. Uh, if I want this deep blue sea to be in front, I can go ahead and do that. And um, that's the end of this tutorial. In the next one, we'll go ahead and sync it and bring everything together. Okay.